Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna test out a brand new mousetrap on the market with one of the best mousetrap names I've ever heard of, Dead Mouse Inc. It's a rolling log style mousetrap and it looks like it's very well built. Now I bought this mousetrap on eBay and they claim their version is made out of much better parts than those cheap imitations from China. Well, there's no doubt that this version spins very easily. It comes in three different color options, blue, yellow, and white. I got all three colors for my collection and it also comes with a ramp and the Dead Mouse Inc. symbol right there. The bucket's not included, but you install it in the bucket, put peanut butter in the middle, the mice will climb out, it will spin, and they'll drop down. I'm curious if it actually works. First, we're gonna test it out with our pet mice, and then we're gonna set it up in the barn with motion cameras and try to get some wild mice. I have my bucket here with a ramp. We'll place the trap on there. To install it, I need to drill holes on either side. And one over here. Slide it in. Squeeze the lip of the bucket to make this side fit. There, that's perfect and it spins very well. Now because my bucket's taller than most buckets, I made my own ramp. We'll put peanut butter in the middle, put something safe for the mice to drop down a soft landing, and then we're going to test it out with our pet mice. Our trap's secure and spinning nicely. I'll place the peanut butter in the middle, just like this. Okay Goldie, test out the dead mouse ink mouse trap. Boy, that didn't take long. We'll try it again. Here you go. We got it. It works well with our pet mice, but will it catch the wild mice? Let's go set up the motion cameras in the barn and see if we can catch them with a dead mouse ink mouse trap.
Well, last night, our dead mouse ink rolling log mouse trap worked very well. We caught two native deer mice and nine non-native invasive mice. You can see they licked all the peanut butter where they could still reach, but out in the center when they try to get it, they'd spin and drop down. Now the native deer mice are part of the natural ecosystem, so I'm gonna take them out in the wild and let them go. But the non-native invasive house mice, I can't do that. Instead, I'm gonna humanely dispatch them and feed them to wild animals. So first, let's go set free the native deer mice. Okay, deer mice, be free. Come on out of there. Run away. Now let's set up the motion cameras and see what enjoys a non-native invasive house mice buffet. Okay, something very strange happened. We have our pile of mice in the middle, birds are all around, the motion cameras are set up, then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, six of the mice disappear. The motion cameras didn't turn on, but they're gone. Some animal came in very quickly, had a meal, and left. So with that trail camera malfunction, I have no idea what enjoyed our mouse buffet. There were three left, and later that night a skunk came along and cleaned up. So you can leave a comment down below guessing what ate them. I'm thinking maybe a bird like a scrub jay, but I don't know. But overall, I'm very happy with the dead mouse ink version of the rolling log mouse trap. It's a good design and it's well built. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 600 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.